Sure. Here is a Richmond University Medical Center New York City horror story on where a bipolar person was a woman named Bianca White who was manic and ended up in Richmond University Medical Center in 2022. Bianca White was a 28-year-old woman who had been diagnosed with bipolar disorder when she was 18 years old. She had been managing her condition well for many years. But she had recently started to experience a manic episode. She was feeling grandiose and irritable, and she was spending money recklessly. She also started to have hallucinations and delusions. One night, Bianca was driving home from work when she started to feel paranoid. She thought that the police were following her, and she pulled over to the side of the road. She got out of her car and started to run, but she tripped and fell. She hit her head on the pavement, and she lost consciousness. When Bianca woke up, she was in the hospital. She had been admitted to Richmond University Medical Center in New York City. The doctors told her that she had suffered a head injury, and that she would need to stay in the hospital for a few days. Bianca was scared and confused. She didn't know why she was in the hospital, and she didn't remember anything about the accident. She also didn't understand why she was feeling so strange. She was still having hallucinations and delusions, and she was starting to feel paranoid again. One night, Bianca was lying in her hospital bed when she heard a noise outside her door. She got out of bed and went to investigate. When she opened the door, she saw a dark figure standing in the hallway. The figure was tall and thin, and it was wearing a long black coat. Bianca couldn't see the figure's face, but she could feel its eyes on her. Bianca was terrified. She slammed the door shut and ran back to her bed. She pulled the covers over her head and tried to forget about what she had seen. But she couldn't shake the feeling that the figure was still out there, watching her. The next day, Bianca told her doctor about what she had seen. The doctor didn't believe her. He told her that she was just having a hallucination, and that there was nothing to be afraid of. But Bianca knew what she had seen, and she knew that it was real. Bianca spent the next few days in the hospital. She was still having hallucinations and delusions. And she was starting to feel more and more paranoid. She was afraid to go to sleep, because she was afraid of what she might see. She was also afraid to leave her room because she was afraid of what she might find in the hallway. One night, Bianca couldn't sleep. She was lying in bed, staring at the ceiling, when she heard a noise outside her door. She got out of bed and went to investigate. When she opened the door, she saw the dark figure standing in the hallway again. This time, Bianca didn't run away. She stood her ground and stared at the figure. The figure stared back at her, and for a moment, Bianca felt like she could see its face. It was a face of pure evil, and it filled Bianca with dread. The figure raised its hand, and Bianca felt a sharp pain in her chest. She gasped and fell to the ground. The figure laughed and disappeared into the darkness. Bianca woke up in her hospital bed. She was still in pain, but she was alive. She knew that she had been lucky, and she was grateful to be alive. But she also knew that she would never forget what she had seen. Bianca was discharged from the hospital a few days later. She was still having some problems, but she was slowly starting to recover. She started seeing a therapist. And she started taking medication for her bipolar disorder. She also started attending a support group for people with bipolar disorder. It took Bianca a long time to recover from her experience at Richmond University Medical Center. But she eventually got her life back on track. She went back to school and got her degree. She got a job and started a family. She also became an advocate for people with mental illness. Bianca's story is a reminder that mental illness is a real and serious condition. It's also a reminder that there is hope. With the right treatment and support, people with mental illness can live happy and fulfilling lives.